So you've fallen in love with the new Skoda Karoq, but you just can't digest that massive price tag. But what if I told you you can get the exact same car with possibly better looks and a better interior for almost 5 lakhs cheaper? This is the new T-Roc from Volkswagen and well, it looks absolutely stunning in this yellow color. So let's talk about the design first and let's start from the front. You get these very Passat-esque lights over here and the DRLs are over here with a pentagonal shape. You get a gigantic grille over here with a chrome strip running along the whole front of the car. And of course you get your openings for the radiator and everything over here. And in my opinion, this is a really nice looking car. So when you come down to the side of the T-Roc, you can see the classic Volkswagen design language with hard lines, cuts and edges everywhere. Just look at this one line. It starts here at the front fender and goes all the way across to the back door. Also, you get these really nice looking 17 inch rims over here with the brake calipers painted silver behind them. And since this is the T-Roc and it's supposed to be a coupe, you get a sloping roof line down here at the end and it makes it look really sporty. And also since it's a sporty SUV, you get a black roof and a sunroof also. So when you come down to the back end, there are a few things that I don't like particularly. First of all, fake vents and a fake exhaust tip kind of vibe. That's not my thing. But when you just go afar and look at it from afar, you really appreciate the design because it's so minimalistic, it's so simple, yet it looks so good. You have this little T-Roc badge over here and the lights are also pretty simple and but they have these hard edges and sharp creases everywhere. And since it's still the sporty SUV, the sloping roof line continues over here and you get this really nice looking back end. So under this rather boring looking engine cover, you have the 1.5 TSI, which is of course from the new wave of TSI engines which are meant to be BS6 compliant. It makes a modest 150 bhp and 250 nm of torque, which is decent at this price because the Karoq is priced almost 5 lakhs more expensive. And yeah, it's a great engine, no problem at all. And it's of course made it to the same DQ200 gearbox, which is in the Karoq and also the GT TSI last generation so pretty decent engine i find this interior a little bit better than the one in the Karoq because everything is a bit more driver oriented this screen over here is a bit tilted towards you and even these dials over here they're a bit more sportier so that's something that i really like and you have this big aluminum-esque piece over here which goes along the dash now in international models this can be chosen to be body colored like for example this car is yellow so this can also be yellow but i don't think there's that's an option in india uh, you get a lot of cubby holes you get big bottle holders over here space to keep your phone over here and of course the armrest opens up to keep more stuff over here um, the interior is pretty standard Volkswagen, you get the standard VW steering wheel with the paddle shifters. Uh, the digital cluster which is up over here, it's pretty similar to the one which is in the 40 lakh rupee Tiguan all space. So that's a really good feature. You have your standard DSG shifter over here, made it to the DQ200 gearbox. All of your AC controls are laid down over here and this ginormous infotainment screen over here which has all of the connectivity in the world. Now I know a lot of people were concerned about how spacious it was here at the back seats in the T-Roc. Well, it's not a problem at all. You have these little humps in the roof for more headroom and knee room, leg room, everything is just fine. Not a problem at all. Uh, the seats are very nicely bolstered so when you're going around corners you're not floating around here and there mid-corner you get these grab handles over here so 
just to chill out a little bit an interesting fact about the t-rock is that the front door trim and the back door trim is actually different so you get these little nice hexagonal pentagonal whatever you want to say designs up here which have a texture effect to it whereas over here in the front it's completely different it's like a aluminum kind of effect you had a massive panoramic sunroof to reduce the claustrophobia and also ac vents to keep you cool over here now let's talk about the boot it opens up like a polo so you have to grab on it and it goes up and this is 445 liters of boot space now i know it doesn't look like that but it actually is because if you look at this when you pull it down you actually have a hump over here so when you when you're loading stuff into it you have to actually be quite cautious on where you put it but 445 liters of boot space more than enough for any sort of family but now since all of this boring stuff is out of the way let's go into the driver seat and see how this thing actually drives <laughs> The T-Rock just like any other VW product is a super easy car to drive, very comfortable. The engine is very refined and the ride is also very comfortable. The 1.5 TSI makes minimal amount of noises and you have radars and sensors and cameras all around the car so you don't bump into anyone while driving. Now this engine comes with a really trick system called ACT or active cylinder technology. which is basically cylinder deactivation so when you're not needing two cylinders the car actually shuts off to and increases the fuel efficiency it also has start and stop function which increases fuel efficiency a little bit more and of course the turbo also helps increase the efficiency by little bit the digital cluster up ahead just makes a world of difference while driving it looks so nice and the little blue accents and the red accents everything just makes it look so vibrant and the graphics are also really spot on you have no problem in reading the graphics and like whereas the new Hyundai Verna also has a digital dash you half of the time you can't see the dash so this does not have that problem at all but of course my favorite part about this car has to be that it has paddle shifters and like i know it's unnecessary in a car like this but come on it's so fun to roll down the gears on your own and when it comes to overtaking power and pulling power this engine has no problem at all the turbo kicks in at around 3000 rpm and after that you're just gone 250 newton meters of torque just hurl you towards the horizon now my final thoughts on the t-rock is that if you're looking to buy a car in that sort of segment around 20 lakh rupees do not discount the t-rock it is one of the best cars i've driven all year and i think so for the price tag it has which is 19.99 lakh rupees ex showroom it's one of the best deals for an suv currently it goes against cars like the seltos the hector the harrier and other competitors and when it comes to that you're getting volkswagen build quality refined engines and lots and lots of power so if you're looking to buy an suv in that sort of price range please go for the t-rock Before you sign off please do check out Volkswagen View Bhandari they are one of the best dealership networks across Pune so if you are in the market to buy a new Volkswagen like the Tiguan Allspace T-Rock or any other car from their brand please do check them out